Hello. It is me, not Issa. Uh, and we are on I Have Moats, the show where we talk about <laughs> defending your medieval castle. Just kidding. It's welcome to I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMD pa- B- IMDB pages, goodness, discuss it's all so things. Hard. It's so hard. Discuss all an- all things animation and creative. I'm your host, Aaron. And with me, we have... Why did we Why did we put IMDB in I don't the know, thing we have to say every week? I don't know. It sounds good. It's just it hard to say with my mouth. I'm Carrie. Hi. <laughs> uh, and with us, uh, returning guest, we have Josh Ornelas. Hey, hey what's hey. up? I'm, I'm returning. I'm here He's again. back again. Uh, again. I'm here. Guest back again. And guest number two, or guest, guest A. Guest, with guest A. number one and guest A. Uh, the very our very own Maggie Tomini. Hey. Yay! I like number twos. <laughs> oh. Poopy. <laughs> poop joke. Uh, just to just to go ahead a little editor's note. We got two minutes in before we talked about poop. Oh, we did it. Poop jar. We waited two whole minutes. We did. Um, this is the best part, uh, Aaron. Uh, go ahead and host. Oh God. Uh, uh, well. Um, I was going to ask how everyone's weekend was, but Maggie, you've never been on. Why don't you introduce yourselves for everybody? So, this is perfect. I know. Uh, okay. Um, um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting you on the spot. Um, That's a different I, uh, Yeah. <laughs> I've been on that one. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Maggie. I am the supervising producer for anything that isn't like Ruby or Genlock or things like that. Um, I have worked on ruby for i did the first two three volumes i don't remember um and then yeah (laughs) and then um uh started some 2d work Mm -hmm. that was fun and um now i'm part of a larger part of a subsection of the animation group (laughs) i don't know what else to say (laughs) it's like subcategory b section a no but but like i mean yeah you're a huge part of animation i mean like you're an OG. You know, yeah. Wait, do you mean, remember when, when you started? I mean, was was volume one? Yeah. I started on volume one. Yeah. So I started February of 2013. So I'm going on eight years. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. Wow. This is a... Yeah. We got, we got a very OG crew. Yeah. Josh, how long have you been here? I forgot. I started on RVB 12, I think, which ran congruent with Ruby 2. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Gauntlet... One was... We don't talk about the gun. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, no, Josh, no. there was something else. What, what was there? There's something else. Do you do you ever, do you ever? Yeah. No, it, was, it was Gauntlet season one. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever do you ever do you ever look back at that fondly? I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it, but also mm-hmm. it's just like, man, I, I, I feel like the running gag of me messing up in front of a bunch of people is like a common reoccurring thing in my life, right? Like, uh, what was it? Uh, I, in fact, like, I think it was like a month ago or something like that. I was playing Doom in front of like 25,000 people and I messed that up like multiple times. So <laughs> I, I just had like gauntlet, gauntlet flashbacks happening in my brain as it was going on. I'm like, ah, oh, them damn Tetris blocks. Not again. I mean, oh, no. I think we talked about this in something else before because it's fun to give you shit about this. But oh, no. I feel like in the end you did kind of win. Because you, you're drink. working you, here. Yeah, you have long time employment. Yeah, I mean that's not that's not what the the competition was about. But you know, well, what I mean. yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I didn't watch season one, so I'm gonna say it was. Yeah, me neither. Did you watch season two? Because I did that. I worked on that. I did. I did watch season <laughs> very two. briefly. I I, I, season I two. just I remember strangely helping. Uh, we did like a behind the scenes thing. Like I helped with some of like the talent. It was like Freddie, Freddie Wong, Adam Kovic before he was part of Funhouse. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I'm trying to remember who else it was. Uh, I Justine? No. Yeah, I Justine was there. Yeah. Um, Greg Miller, I think, was the other part of that. Yeah. Year. Oh no, Tim Geddes. Tim Geddes, that's who. It was. That's right. It was Tim. Yeah, that was fun. That was. I remember we were, we were like, <laughs> I just remember like, uh, Brandon was like on set, but also finishing like authoring the discs for like <gasps> cat. Uh, for I think volume two or volume one, I can't remember. Now. Yeah, I, I felt so bad. It's like we finished volume one of Ruby, and yeah. then I immediately went to help with Gauntlet two while everyone else was stuck like in the building, oh, authoring no. the oh. discs and stuff. 
it was it was a uh, it was one of those like weird overlap times. Um, okay, so now we get we re reacquainted with Josh. We know Maggie. Now Aaron. Yes. What do you want to ask everybody? Friends, tell me about your weekend yeah. or your week so far. Either or. Let's start with Maggie. Oh God! Now Let's I have start to remember what I did Josh. this weekend. <laughs> Who are we starting with? Let's That's start the question. Uh, <laughs> with Josh. Okay, cool. We're starting with me, I guess. <laughs> My week has been pretty chill so far. Uh, you know, I just do the worky thing. Um, I bought like a new grill for inside my apartment, right? Whoa, you can grill inside? Well, so that's that's the secret to this grill. It's like it's like new technology. I'm in like 2021 what? right now. Um, <laughs> oh God! Please tell me it gets better, Josh. Please tell me it gets better. <laughs> oh. The grill. Well, apparently, doing, we but, can uh, grill inside. Yeah. <laughs> Indoor grill sounds better. Yeah, but it's uh it's not like a like a George Foreman like just hot plate that you put stuff on. It's like there's an actual grill <gasps> and there's like infrared things that shoot heat upwards. Whoa! That what that does? Sense. It just blast heat on your food but because it's shooting upwards all the drippings drip down onto like a cold plate that's in the middle of the grill and it's almost like no smoke it's Whoa. like the best thing ever like Whoa. i got it uh i got it like uh earlier today actually and i was like let me grill up some uh hot dogs and a burger or something like that and everything worked completely fine of course you don't have to like the smoky charcoal like nest mm -hmm. to it sure but at the same time it's like i live in an apartment i can't really have a grill out on my balcony or anything like that and they have like these like communal crusty fucking oh, yeah. grills oh, that God, everybody no. uses and i'm like i would rather uh lick the bottom of uh uh my shoe yeah i mean you would you if you, you i i'm i'm of the opinion that those are made to hide bodies like that's what those are for it's so that you can like dispose of bodies um <laughs> I don't know that anybody actually ever cooks on those. No. At my old apartment, uh, my old uh, shitty apartment with the um, the crusty old man. Mm -hmm. um, did he get cooked on them? No, but I mean, it looks like he did, but I, <laughs> I don't know, man. But th the ones at my old place were like, they're like bolted into the ground and it's all like one piece. But the one closest to my place was like ripped out or something or like, I don't know where it went. But I don't know. It so it's just... even less useful than the yeah, old crusty. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Jo Josh, is there like a? Uh, and I'm asking this one for educational reasons, and then two, so I know what to Google. Uh, yeah. Is there like a a name to that type of grill, like convection? You know, uh, it's an infrared grill. I infrared. my my specific one is from Philips. Ah, so, the yes. hue bulbs. <laughs> yes. Yes. You they turn them on bulbs. red. Yeah, and it, and it cooks. It's, it's, it's legitimately blinding. You turn it on, it's just like, and it's, it's like looking into <laughs> like Superman's eyes. I'm pretty sure it has the same like eyeball technology as Superman. It just roasts your food right then and there. Well, my ultraviolet grill is going to work way better than that infrared grill. I'm just oh, saying. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Getting the full spectrum here. You, you want to have a 2020 grill off or yeah. 2021 grill off? I'll let uh, <laughs> Meehan take you up on that. What if you just point them at each other? <laughs> we can bring back uh, BattleBots or whatever the fuck it was called. Uh, no, it was... Uh, <laughs> That's still around, man. Robot uh, Wars? Robot Wars! Oh, I fucking love that show. Yeah. That was great. Yeah, I love that shit. Um, Maggie, how Terry. was your weekend? Uh, week? it, it was good. I watched a lot of uh, old seasons of Real Housewives of Orange County. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! How, how old are we talking? <laughs> like, I'm going back and rewatching all of it because it's really funny. <laughs> oh wow! Wait, when did it start airing? Like, uh, that was that was the first seven? one. So yeah, it was around like I want to say oh five to oh seven in that <laughs> range. <laughs> uh, but also, I've been watching a lot of P Valley, which I highly recommend. P, what P is P Valley? Like P E E P E A? No, like P, <laughs> and then it's supposed to be like. Am I allowed to curse on this? Is it like yes. a vagina thing? Yeah, it's a vagina thing. <laughs> Wait, say that again? It's a vagina thing. It's about oh, a strip vagina club. Thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you but can you can really say whatever you want. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's, it's really interesting. It's uh, you know, it's a slice of life of a strip joint in I think Alabama. 
Um, <laughs> and it's a lot less depressing than The Shy, which is the other thing that I watch all the time. Hello. Oh my goodness. You have like a zoo going on. I know. They won't leave me alone. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Meow. I love it. No, this is, this is a positive, positive yeah. thing. Meow. Meow. I, Josh, do you have any pets? Uh, they're not with me. Like I have okay. a cat with my mom, and I have dogs with my dad, but they're not here, unfortunately. Gotcha, gotcha. Do y'all, yeah. do y'all like? Ha, do you ever have times where you're like, "Can you be in another room, please?" Oh yeah. I've this is like the longest I've ever worked from home, obviously, but like with a with a pet too. And sometimes I'm like, I just don't know, like. If I kick them out of this room, is that okay? Like. <laughs> I mean, have you actually have you actually closed the door on Ash I, yet? Like have I have, him yeah. No, it is right now, and like he will, he's not happy about it. But it's also like he's a cat, and I'll just like throw him some treats and be like, "You'll be fine." This is true. Yeah, but I don't want to traumatize him either. I don't know. I just feel terrible I all mean, the time. My cat will get in my face when I'm trying to use my laptop, and so oh, I just yeah. like pick her up, and I'm like, "No, you go on the floor now." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now is floor time. <laughs> That was not put face put butthole in FaceTime. It's always put butthole in <laughs> FaceTime with her. <laughs> you just need a second laptop that like you're not using, but you have it on. I saw And then I have like a fake version of me sitting <laughs> yeah. <at> yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw a thing on Amazon that was like a, a plastic tray that went over your keyboard so you could put your hands under it. Oh, the so then the cat would off. sit on top of that <gasps> and you could actually type. That's so smart. <laughs> and, but it's like you can still see. It's perfect. It's perfect. 2021. It's looking it's, very bright. We've got to. <laughs> we got it all. We just got to get there. <laughs> we just got to get there. Uh, Aaron, how was your weekend? Oh, it was it was lovely. Uh, I actually had yeah. a friend come over this weekend, and it was like oh. the first time I've seen her since probably before March. Maybe even the first time I've seen her this year. Wow. Uh, and yeah, it was it was pretty pretty swell. We watched uh, Hunter Hunter, so I've yes. gotten through like the first thirty episodes, and I'm oh, yes. quite you might pass me now. Maybe. Oh, and it's like uh, twenties. Uh, September first, which is uh, <gasps> the day that um, uh, Gone and his friends are supposed to meet up in uh, York, New City. Oh, that's well, right. <laughs> happy September first, weaves. Remember, remember the first, <laughs> first of September. <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say in the show that our parent company owns, right? Or the movie, I mean. Isn't I that... couldn't tell you if they own it. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. I don't Maybe. know anymore. Isn't it the 1st of November? No, it's the 5th, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's the 5th. Okay. Yeah. I'm real yeah. dumb. Don't worry about me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's me doing my, like, I'm going to say it wrong on purpose thing. And um, then I say it wrong on accident. <laughs> 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 I um, I don't even know what I did this weekend anymore. Oh, I, I wasn't feeling good on Friday, so I took a good part of that day off. Um, and then I just been playing. I I want I I need to talk to Issa about this game. So hopefully we won't do the same thing we did last time, where we said we should talk to Issa about a thing and then still talk about it. Uh, but I've been I've been seriously obsessed with Spirit Fair, um, which is very hard to say and sounds like the rural juror. Um, but. Try, trying to make this slightly animation focused, like I just oh dog oh, dog audio so listeners good. are missing out. Yeah, this is why you should subscribe <laughs> on the website and be a first member and watch on YouTube. Oh my god, is stuff. this legal? I don't. I it's, feel like it's I shouldn't like be seeing this. One step away. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable, and that's what matters. Um, but the the animation in in Spirit Fair is like we talked about it a little bit, but it's. Mm -hmm. It's been a it's been a while since I've seen like something that that looked just like so two D in this like three D environment. Like I, I'm I'm fairly positive the whole thing is like two D drawn. It's not really three D, mm -hmm. um, and that's why they're doing like the side scrolling thing. But uh, I've just I've been blown away like how smooth everything is, but then also how detailed everything is. Like it it I it I'm surprised that it was like done like on an indie budget. Like it's crazy. It's really good. Um, my, my uh, words aren't good today. I can't um, remember if you told us what this game's about. Can you pitch it again? It, yeah, I don't. I can't remember if we did or not. It is you. Um, you are essentially helping spirits like move on to the the afterlife. Hmm. Um, so they're you know they're people who have passed away, 
but still have kind of like lingering things that you're doing. So it's honestly kind of like a chores management game in some ways. Like you're constant. It's like Animal Crossing Stardew esque, where you're constantly it. managing like cooking stuff and growing stuff. But then you you know you go on an adventure because this one person can't get over their ex husband, and you're trying to track down who he is and where he's who he's sleeping with now. Um, who are you sleeping with it's it's you, you're going to different islands and like you'll talk to somebody on the island they're like i remember his smell and it's like okay he's been here i guess okay um <laughs> it sounds nicer or it's, it's nicer in the game but uh you, you're basically just like helping them kind of like pass on uh to like the next plane or realm or whatever uh but it's it's really emotional and it handles death in like a really interesting way because i mean not i mean again this is part of the game so it's not really a spoiler but i mean like you get to know these characters really well and you care about, I mean, like the things you're doing, you're basically, you're constantly checking on them, finding out, do they need something? Do they need food? What are their favorite foods? What are their least favorite foods? Do they need a hug right now? And all of that culminates in, and now they're gone. And like, they're out of the game and that's it. Like you're done with them. Oh no. Uh, but then they're like house, you have this, like you're, you're on a ship that keeps getting bigger and you keep expanding and you make houses on it and like buildings on it. So their house is just remains there as this like testament to them. It's, it's it like, I got, I definitely got teary the first time that happened. Uh, but yeah, it's really, I want to talk to, to Issa about it. I'm laughing because like the only reason I'm laughing right now is because you did this gesture. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I just like, I just, I, I'll do anything I can to help make them feel better. You know, <laughs> oh, um, no. I'll, I'll see you on Giphy. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, if, the, if, I have scrotes. I have scrotes. Yep. I have uh, scrotes. I have, I, I, have, yeah. If, uh, yeah, if you want a 2d game that is gonna sometimes be kind of like idle and then also sometimes be like tear jerking, uh, heh, jerking, uh, I highly recommend it. It's like on like everything. Uh, I think it might even be on games pass. Um, if you already have that. So. Yeah, mm. that's what I did, and I'm really excited for a long weekend. Oh yeah, oh, I keep forgetting right. about that. Yeah, oh. we have Monday Wait. off. <gasps> we do. <laughs> I'm pretty right. That. Yeah, mm. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh god, I hope I'm not wrong. I need this. Maggie's not a guest, but I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm afraid she's lying to us and trying to like prank what? us. No. Gotcha. <laughs> what? She's like, no, she's like, you're, you're, you're not direct. It's like she can, you can say whatever. I mean, true. yeah, Aaron, what I say doesn't matter for your uh, schedule. Very so. true. <laughs> no, it's a holiday. It's Labor Day. We have to celebrate labor. Working. Yeah, working. <laughs> working and giving birth. Right. That's what the holidays for. I it's, don't know. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not at all. It's just about uh, working. It's everybody's know, birthday. I don't know that you know that for sure. I am fairly certain. Hey, I have a serious question. So you know how you're not you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Correct. When, Supposedly. Isn't it? When does it stop being? I always after always, Labor I've Day? always wondered that. So as I understand it, it's not gauche to wear white yeah. once spring hits. Is Until gauche good Labor or bad? Day. Gauche is bad. Okay, thank oh, you. Shit. <laughs> okay, so when spring hits, it's okay again. That's my understanding. I mean, look, okay. I wear a beanie and a hoodie every day. Don't take it back. <laughs> but yet you <laughs> still, you knew spring probably, and you knew the word gauche. So I Real feel like I asked it. Real Housewives of Orange County, man. Gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah, if you could if you could just track for me uh, what month and what color outfit they're wearing in every episode, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely make a chart. I'll put it on the Data's Beautiful subreddit. Like, yeah. it's happening. If we can get that in Confluence and on Shotgun <laughs> oh, God. and Google Sheets. Um, Josh, I missed it uh, uh, in the Discord before I came in here. Uh, are you are you building keyboards? Uh, I mean, I, I was talking to uh, Tyler Stapp about uh, building, like, Gundams and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. one of the things that I showed him was a channel called Tayhaw Types, where it's this guy, he's building keyboards for a lot of like high profile streamers. But um, I did build a keyboard a long time ago. Um, it is a beefy motherfucker. Uh, if we ever get into the office, I'll bring it by so you can see how terrifyingly heavy this thing is. That looks thick. Yeah. <laughs> it is It is very thick. And um, I, it, this thing has a lot of love put into it. Uh, it. Uh, I'm afraid of plugging this thing in because I don't know if it's going to break anything else. Oh, no. Uh, but... <laughs> don't, don't break things. 
Um, I'm trying to plug in. I can't find the hole. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I, I lubed all the switches. Every single switch, I opened it up, lubed it, and then soldered everything. Whoa. Jesus. Put it all together, put the custom keycaps on there, uh, and I have another set of keycaps actually coming in because I want to have a collection of these. Um, it's not a cheap hobby, I'll be honest. Yeah, um, you're telling me. It's maybe uh, <laughs> maybe a dumb question, but what is the purpose of building your own keyboard besides the satisfaction of building it? Just they're... the satisfaction of right. just being able to flex hey, super that's, hardcore. That's totally fair. Well, and, and, and you, uh, there's probably some elements you can get like exactly what you want, right? Yeah, Sorry, Maggie, exactly. Um, like I I'm a heavy like fingered son of a bitch. Like I have like a lot of finger strength. It sounds really weird to say, but it's just like that's like your brain. anime um like superpower. <laughs> My grip strength. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I I have really heavy key switches because uh, like I think most mechanical keyboards are rated between like thirty five to forty uh, grams of force to push down, oh. but these are like sixty seven, and they have a tactile bump at the top of it, and it's like really nice. But uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know. Does it's, the it's, bump it's get it to 69? What was that? Sorry. Does the bump get it to 69? They do yeah. sell a 69 gram uh, version of the Switch, and I, I missed out on getting that. So yeah, How did you not? Come on. Time to build a new keyboard. I, you know what's funny? I was talking to somebody about that earlier, but I'm not sure if I want to put down that amount of money again because this thing costs $650 to build. What? So, yeah, ooh. please don't talk to Meehan about it. <laughs> Is it does he like keyboards? He's done some keyboard stuff. He's not oh, man. as into it as Josh, but he, Can... he actually printed me this little keycap right here. It's a little QuakeCon keycap. Can't really see it. But... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. If oh. you ever need something 3D printed, hit up uh, me and. Yep. That's uh, anybody listening. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're willing to pay, I'm sure he's willing to print with a thousand printers we have in our house. Oh no. <laughs> has has no. he, he printed me a six? A printer yet? He has not printed a printer. He's thought about printing printer parts. Um, I mean, that yeah, that seems, that makes sense. But, yeah. It's kind of self-sustaining. Yeah, I remember the <laughs> last time I was over, which was, was that earlier this year? Or was that end of last? I don't remember. It was some time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, even then, there was, like, four, I think. Oh, um, I think Jeez. there was, like, another one on the way, or, like, the fourth one was still being set up or something. Yeah, um, and he's given away a couple, and we still have six in the house. So wow, <laughs> why do you have so many? Because why? he loves three D printers. I don't know. It's not <laughs> well, my there's hobby. Like, there's different <laughs> kinds for different reasons, and like right. different things, like different reasons you want to like print stuff. Um, yeah, like he sounds has like we need printers, get, and sounds like we need to get me hand on <laughs> sometime. Yeah. Oh yeah, he yeah. would be great. Uh, I did want to ask Josh, do you use old school soldering iron stuff or do you have one of those fancy ones that has the solder as part of the iron? Oh, no, no. I have like a, yeah, I, I guess it's like old school where it's like, it, I have like a giant reel or spool of solder and then I have like the soldering iron with a control over temperature. So I guess okay, it's like cool, the best yeah. of both old and new world. But yeah, it's, uh, it's that good shit. That sounds real nice. Can you, Sorry. Yeah. No, this is, cause this is really important to me because like, uh talking talking of trying to like making this like a i feel like i was to justify what we want to talk about like talking about like creative stuff like i strangely obsess over like like the you know my computer stuff and like the stuff that i like do creative stuff on like can you uh obviously it's not as good for games but can you make like wireless ones um, or are they pretty pretty much always wired they're pro almost pretty much always wired okay. um one because like the the custom keyboard community actually likes to make their own like custom wires. Like I haven't, ah. I'd have to, I have to pull everything out. But like basically, I have a custom soldered cable that has like an aviator connector in the middle of it, and it's like some coiled uh, part of it as well. That's cool. So it's um, there hasn't really been like a a market for making wireless in these cases yet for for normal scrubs like me. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Let's say that. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it hasn't come around yet, but maybe at some point in the future uh, it might happen. I would like that. I just I don't know why it would happen like uh early it was earlier this year like late last year. I just decided like, "Oh, I hate wires." <laughs> oh, I, like anything that I can not have a wire on, I'm going to get rid of it or if I can like hide it behind something or like tape it down like if I could just not know the wires existed, I would like that. I don't know what happened, but so that's why I'm I'm very picky now. Mm. But it I mean, if that's if weird. I'm going to play something like <laughs> hardcore FPS, I'll plug it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I don't know why you hate wires. Wires are great. Are, are they? That you trip on them? You think they're spaghetti and then they're not? Like, so I... We just wires lead very nothing. different... Different lives, Carrie. Different lives. Yeah. You're not constantly hunting for spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> just imagine a carrying like getting under his desk and like gnawing on his cables no, yeah i mean but if i'm not my cat is this is true so some somebody's gnawing over here 24 <laughs> 7. um hey aaron you found some cool 3d art whoa i did are we se segueing that yep that was it segue <laughs> segue of the week <laughs> segue of the week da, um, da. <laughs> that's my theme song so um Courtney, who's our um, one of our artists that works on like merch and all that, she's awesome. Uh, she linked to me this earlier today. Um, since I guess we're both like very interested in like Blender and like specifically making anime three D or anime characters in three D. Um, and since Blender is free, it's like a, a hot new hot new thing. Uh, so she linked to me this Toho fan video um, called Eternal Night Part Zero. So guessing there's gonna be more but it looks gorgeous and has like some sick fight animation it looks really good i'm i'm trying to learn now like what to i guess i guess it's a video game it's a series it's of video games uh mm. i believe correct me if i'm wrong josh i don't know if you know anymore but i believe it's made by one dude and like everything Whoa. about it is made by one dude like he does like the programming the art the music etc um and I believe it's kind of like, what is it, like a bullet storm, bullet hell yeah. kind of game? Yeah. Um, Junior has, Ota. Yeah, it has a bunch of cute anime girls. They do magic and shit. And yeah. yeah, it just it just looks awesome. I do believe it was made initially by one dude and then they, oh, okay. whenever they expanded. Because I think oh, there's yeah. like eight bajillion different games. Oh, yeah, there's this? like 20 games or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. But then this it's, is like a fan nice. project. Yeah, this but is it, yeah. I mean, it looks. It looks like it could. It was like backed by a studio or something. I mean, yeah, it looks really honestly. good. So again, it's like, Blender, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing I was gonna bring up. Is like Blender has gotten really, really good because the thing is, I've actually been like messing around with Blender for like the last like I want to say like two or three years, and like um, they just keep getting better and better mm -hmm. and better. And it's uh, they. I think it's like Blender two point eight, which came mm -hmm. out like a couple years ago, whatever, or a year and some ago. Yeah, uh, it wasn't that long like, ago. I think it was like last year. Yeah, it revamped a lot of things and actually made it much, much easier for people to get into it. So if you wanted to learn Blender, like now is the time to do it. Oh, yeah. Um, and especially because there's a lot of people who are figuring out how to kind of sort of open. It, it's an open source program, so it's free. There's a lot of people who are figuring out the back end of it and actually adding new stuff to it. For example, uh, one of the things was like... Uh, somebody made like a screen space uh, global illumination plugin for it. So where oh, cool. it would real time with the EV engine, which is the one that's not the ray tracing engine, so it goes really fit, uh, fast, it basically is able to take light sources that are bouncing off of other things, kind of sort of simulated, and actually give you the look of like global illumination from other oh sources God, around the room. That. It's so, so <laughs> yeah. intuitive and super, super nice. And the thing is like, I think just getting into Blender and actually like literally just animating or rendering stuff out is, dummy fast like really really fast like, in fact if I'm, I'm gonna post a link here in the discord i did something oh, yeah. stupid last night um I don't oh god it's loud <laughs> is it very loud? oh <laughs> nice it's, it's, it's literally the bfg division uh so basically uh to explain for our audio listeners it's it's, it's a rotating camera around a very nicely rendered doom guy who is twerking so and it's it took good me for a couple of <laughs> <laughs> it took me five minutes to make that, and it it looks fantastic. But still, like Blender is the truth. I love Blender so much. Uh, there are a lot of different like uh, uses for it. I think I use it sometimes to fix some of the stuff. Like, oh, we have like a random broken thing that I need to inject in the Unreal. I'll just fix it in Blender. Um, and then also, it's just it's just really really good. For, it, it does like two D animation. It does. Oh yeah. Uh, As that grease um, pencil. Oh yeah. Which yeah. Is sick. The grease so pencil, crazy. you can do rigging, you can do modeling, you can do sculpting, which is like one of the things that threw me off. I was like, what? Excuse me? Mm -hmm. um, it's I'm good. really curious about the licensing for studios. So <laughs> that's where my brain goes. Like, I mean, can I, we legally use this? <laughs> I think it is just like free. Because um, I know. You can, I know, like, there's a lot of studios that like uh, donate to it. 
Yeah. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the studio that's working on the new Evangelion movie, I think they're doing all like the mecha stuff within Blender. Yeah, I think I'm... they switched to it. Yeah. And I, Ubisoft might be using it now, though I might be remembering that wrong. No, I think I so. There, there are a lot that have like donated, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like big chunks of money. Like, uh, yeah, I'm like on the credits page right now. AMD, Nvidia, Unity, Epic, yeah, Ubisoft, uh, yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot that, yeah, they. Oh yeah, uh, Studio Kara. Uh, uh, um, they're, they're, they're basically the when uh, or from my understanding at least, is like when uh, uh, Gynax split. Um, a lot of people went to Trigger and made Trigger, mm -hmm. and then some went to Studio Kara. Um, uh, they're in Blender now as well. Um, yeah, I think you can just anybody can just use it. It's a uh, Grease Pencil is amazing. Yeah, I want to. I wish I could draw so badly because I want to <laughs> do stuff with it. Carrie, you can learn. I know it's not that hard. I will one hundred percent teach you. I would. I will that. teach you. I swear. Teach can we, me. Can we please do that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm the best artist or the best teacher, but I like uh, shut up, people, Aaron. So. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, hard to make me come over there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I had a goal for a long time that by 30, I wanted to be at least like semi fluent in Japanese and uh, be able to like draw storyboards. And I'm like doing okay with the Japanese goal, but like I've barely done any drawing. So I'm like, and I've got like eight months. So. I mean, do you remember the Ruby One storyboards that we had some of the animators do? Yeah, I think you can do that. <laughs> I, I can't even do that. Yeah, you can. No, I, it's bad. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, yeah, it's it's not good. But Blender, I yeah, I I I think there could be like a huge, huge, huge future mm -hmm. with Blender in our industry too, because it is like we have like. A ton of like our concept artists and other ones I've talked to as well. Like they'll use that for like three D blockouts, because mm -hmm. um, they're like it, it. It really is work smarter, not harder. Yeah. You know, like why, why draw, you know, every single building if you can just duplicate a bunch and then sketch mm -hmm. over them? Like, I don't yeah. know. I'm sure, Aaron, you could probably speak to some artistic oh, integrity thing, but it's like <laughs> I ain't got time for that. <laughs> yeah. I want to make more things. Definitely true, and it. They're definitely making it so that it's easier for, say, like Maya users to migrate over to Blender mm. because you can actually set Blender to have like the Maya um, controls, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, like, I don't need any more convincing. Like, I'm sold on that. Yeah. I will say if, uh, yeah, if anybody's interested, well, I guess 2.9 came out. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know that. Yeah. The, the 2.8 update was like a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know some people have still not switched over, uh, as a person who did not use it a time before that, I don't see mm -hmm. why you wouldn't just start with 2.8 now, but yeah, yeah. I'm sure Let's there's see. a couple people who are like 2.79 for life. <laughs> no, <laughs> that no. was me for the longest time with Photoshop. Um, like I, I feel like we've all, yeah, I had CS1 literally up until maybe two years ago. <sighs> and, uh, for some reason it just stopped working. And when I try to reinstall it and do the um, like the registration key, mm -hmm. apparently their servers are just gone. Um, so <laughs> I can't even thing. like, yeah, I can't register a product that I have on like a disc. It's bullshit. Awesome. So I finally, I finally upgraded. That that definitely doesn't encourage people to, to yeah. pirate. Yeah. Um, no, I had the same thing where like I when they made the jump from uh, CS six to CC to like the mm -hmm. Creative Cloud. Yep. Like I, we we held on to CS six for so long. <sighs> Uh, just cause I don't know, it, I've gotten used to it now. It just feels weird to not own it, but apparently even when you do own it, you didn't. So yeah, licensing, licensing, yeah. um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, if you're, if you're interested in anything in revolving animation, like even, you know, if it's not actually animating, uh, but like, you know, concept uh from and all the way to like effects too like mm -hmm. i think blender is like a great place to start if if you haven't already yes if you can you, make some cool things if you start up with blender to get to get 2.8 or above 2.9 just came out um if you're still on 2.79 stop it get some help <laughs> uh it's like that's like riding a bicycle with your hands on the pedals that's just not intuitive um but either way if you start off with blender uh i think there's a tutorial where you you make a donut 
and it goes through most of the, the most of the tools it's that's the, going the to blender get you guru blender guru yes yeah so i think i think everybody who's ever used blender has all like made that donut oh, i've got i've got a donut <laughs> on my hard drive from it was from oh, 2.79 yeah. but yeah yeah it was, it was before 2.8 i wasn't holding on mm, mm -hmm. that's an uh, invalid donut you have to do yeah. it again I, i'm going to because <laughs> it's 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 funny because I just finished the, like the donut tutorial in two point seven like nine or eight or whatever it was, and then two point eight came out and the guy remade all of his tutorials in two point eight. So I was like, well, I guess I'll do this again. It's okay time. though, because I get to make a donut. Yeah, yeah. I just got hungry every time I did it. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. We'll post the link somewhere. Maybe I don't know how to how to. But yeah, if, if you want to search for Toho three D Eternal Night Part Part Zero, zero. yeah. Um, uh, sorry, I just saw the first comment, which was uh, me with Blender. Okay, now how do I delete the cube? Okay. <laughs> uh, um, was there something? Erin, did you post something else? Uh, I did. There was also, not Blender related, um, Spencer Wan, who was a awesome animator. He worked on like Castlevania and the Owl House and a few other things. Um, he did an interview with uh, Saku Aboru about their new studio, Studio Grackle, and they just kind of talk about how the studio came to be, um, how they started working on Hades and like plans he has in the future, I guess. For oh, himself. they did Hades. Yeah. Well, they did the um, Hades oh. trailer. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So apparently, um, the he reached out to or either he reached out to Gen Z, who's like the art director for Hades, or vice versa. And asked if he wanted to work uh, on like a 2D trailer for them, but apparently he had to make a studio in order to work with them. Uh, Interesting. Because of, because of some California laws, I don't know. Oh. Uh, but apparently he assembled like a team quickly together just to make this trailer, and it's uh it's pretty it's pretty cool. And he talks about like his like philosophy about like the studio. Uh, talks about why he called it like Studio Grackle, which is a like, loud and obnoxious bird. For those who don't know. Oh, I'm very yeah. aware. Texas. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I thought grackles were only a Texas thing, but I guess they're elsewhere too. I know. I birds yeah. are birds, man. Do we have any big bird fans here? I have birds. Cool. Okay, never mind. I love birds. Oh, you don't have birds. <laughs> I don't have birds now. <laughs> I have notes for birds. Yeah. It's stop. <laughs> Shut up. I've just never some birds it. seem cool. I don't know. Top, uh, Maggie, top three birds, go. Oh, I don't even know if I can name three birds. Um, <laughs> big, big, uh, falcon, eagle, pigeon. Ah, the uh, old falcon, eagle, eagle pigeon, pigeon yeah. the rare and elusive. Falcon it's a uh, it's the cousin to man bear pig, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's cool. I it's uh it's pretty interesting that I'm I, I kind of want to read this now. It's it's interesting that they did form a studio just to to do a project. Yeah, I guess but it was. Um, if it hey, if it worked. Oh gosh! Apparently, uh, California Assembly Bill Five. Oh, classic! There you go. The classic. <laughs> It'll get you every time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like uh, he talks about like I mentioned like their philosophy or going into like an animation studio, and apparently like. They're not part of a like union, but he's paying all of his animators like union rates because he says like that's the right thing to do, which is awesome. That's good. Um, so he's very, I guess he was very tired of like um, the current standard in the animation industry and just said fuck it, did what he thought was best. Yeah. I mean, that's I, yeah. I do like this one part where he's like talking about how. Um, like, he'll get input from the different departments, but he said, quote, it's better to let the specialists handle their own departments, mm -hmm. which I really respect. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm always like, let go of your stuff so that the other people can flourish in their aspect. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, I feel like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I was definitely not good about this early on, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it's like, th things get better when everybody gets a hand on the ball, so mm -hmm. to speak, you know? Um, I think, it, I think it personally, I feel like it's important that there is like, you know, one or just, you know, a fewer voices like driving it overall. Mm -hmm. But if they're the only person contributing, then it's just not going to be mm -hmm. the the best that it could be. Um, no, I, I'm a huge yeah. supporter of that. 
Yeah. And even I, like, I've definitely dealt with like artists in the past, um, not to shit talk anybody, but people who me. were very, no, it's not you carry, you're fine. You're I, was, fine. I was trying to, you're, you're good. <laughs> um, but definitely dealt with artists who really like to micromanage their, their piece, like throughout the whole entire process or throughout the whole entire pipeline, like even when it's out of their hands. And mm. it's kind of like, at a certain point, you have to kind of just like let it go so that you can actually like finish the product and like, you know, just uh, focus on your current task, if that makes any sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, and there's also like, there's there's making sure that your, your intent survived. And then mm -hmm. there's also being okay that it changes as it goes. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things for like what I at least try to do mm -hmm. when I work with directors is kind of just be like, hey, you're or even writers, you know, like your original idea isn't necessarily what's going to be on screen. But ultimately, I have faith that because we're collaborating on this as a team that I trust, like mm -hmm. we're going to get a better product out of it. Mm -hmm. So we just have to be open to letting people use their artistry and their expertise and it helps everything in the long run. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> agree. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, today, today is a sleepy day. Was is there anybody? Uh, does anybody have big plans for the long weekend? I know we talked about it earlier. I mean, I didn't even realize we had a long weekend, so I have no plans thus far. I guess it's kind of ha hard to have plans. I know. Mm, yeah, I have some family stuff I have to deal with, but oh, no. I is don't it, know if that's is it fun. Good, is it good family stuff or bad family stuff? Well, she stuff? did say deal with. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not the most fun stuff, but... <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> At least there's a cookout involved. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you you're ultraviolet your... grill. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> your infrared <laughs> ultimate uh, cook-off. Josh, right. what yeah. about you? Uh, I'm gonna try to draw this weekend. <gasps> I know, right? Drawing. Um, I'm Drawing trying to class. figure out. I'm trying to figure out some live 2D stuff. So I'm like figuring mm -hmm. all of that stuff out. So I have to. I have to break open my my drawing hands again, and they're gonna be bad. I can For some tell. reason, that me. Sorry, Carrie. <laughs> no, you're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> For some reason, that made me think about the Mike Myers sketch from SNL, where he was like, "Hello, my name is Simon." And I like to do drawings. <laughs> drawings. Am I That's, too old? <laughs> it's weird. One time, Josh, uh, we were in a call together, and he didn't realize he left his camera on. Uh -oh. And he was drawing, and, and he was singing that the whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looked just, totally. just like this angle. It was so weird. It's exactly he, what it was. <laughs> was he in a bathtub with Danny DeVito? You know what? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and Josh I feel like I'm good. too old for this. It's like that. That was the like. That was the too far part. <laughs> what a how Josh? How long until you are just a digital avatar? When are you going to become a, a virtual YouTuber? I, I don't think I would ever become a YouTuber. What? But uh, I don't know. I'll digitize myself uh, soon. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll show you all the deets soon. Is that, that that's what the live he says live two D, yeah that's uh that's okay. the whole thing where you match it up with face rig and you go I, 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 and it makes it move with your drawing. Yeah, we have a lot of programs that we're experimenting with on direct for both two D and three D mm -hmm. um, live capture sort of stuff. So mm -hmm. it's interesting. I wonder where we'll go, it's and maybe some of it'll be at RTX. Who knows? <gasps> oh, whoa! Was that a teaser? you don't know. You don't know which panel, though. You have no idea. Who knows? Whose house will it be at? <laughs> Watch and find out. Go to That's RTX. the whole thing about RTX at home, right? Like, we're all going to go to each other's houses? Yeah. That's how that works, totally. right? Totally. Okay. Uh -huh. Just come on yeah. over. <laughs> I've got, like, uh, suits, like, hazmat suits for everybody. And oh, sweet. If up. you actually... Can we go as, like, you know, in Never Been Kissed, how that's, like, the double helix group? Okay, never mind. I'm dating myself fuck? again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an old person. I'm sorry. Wait, no, you're not. I uh, I only watch anime, Maggie. I'm sorry. I don't. I we've probably told this story at some point, and if it's bad, we can cut it. But uh, I'll still. Austin Hardwick will never let me forget this. Um, but like for a while, for I think it was RVB 13. 
uh, and then for like, you know, like even like some possible like 2D and other 3D stuff, there is for a while we were working with this uh, uh, face capture technology that was actually, it was working pretty good. It basically you use like a connect um, or like any type of like 3D camera. And, uh, you know, so we did, we did like a lot of facial mocap with it and, you know, it, it, it it, it was working okay. Definitely, like, you could tell, like, it was going to get even better. It was still, like, a very, like, small thing. Uh, and then one day, they sent us an email saying it wasn't going to work anymore. Uh-oh. And we were like, oh, okay. I guess they've gone out of biz or something. And then, like, two months later, Apple announced Face ID and Memojis and all that stuff. And it turns out that they were using the same technology or something like that. Oh. Uh, wow. So that went away for us that um, sucks. yeah uh is hopefully i can tell how, that story we'll find out is that how we did vic and rvb for a little bit yeah that was an even like older th- oh my god i I, I was gonna say like sorry <laughs> no you're fine you're fine rtx one year what was that called wasn't there like um they had like ruby and yang and like the facial capture thing i don't yeah, know what rtx it was that was a whole thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was like uh it was like experimenting with like I think it's like some suits or something too. Yeah, that was oh, okay. there have been a lot of very interesting uh like live motion capture animation mm. stuff that's happened over the years and I feel like it's just about to hit the like peak of like crossing a corner. Um mm-hmm. especially with like how like involved uh I don't know actually. Sorry, yeah, stab. I don't know if that was what it was called or not. Scanect, Scanect. Scanect. Um Lunchables, connectables. Um, <laughs> there's a, because I, f- I feel like it's a, with a, like VR um, and like the, there's like a party going outside uh, with like VR and like, uh, especially like getting like the foot trackers on and stuff like that, uh, feet trackers. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're actually getting closer to like consumer mm-hmm. live animation stuff, which oh yeah, I have interesting I mean- feelings about. Even within the Adobe suite, like they have software that you can just use and has a bunch of uh, different characters that you can pull up and that are pre-made and you don't even have to make anything. So I tried doing that. It I just I like I tried for like ten minutes. Uh, it was a monster. I created, oh, no. <laughs> I created a monster and I had to delete the file uh, so that I could sleep again. An exor- exercise <laughs> yeah. exorcist yeah. your computer. I uh I put holy water on my computer and uh it didn't go well. <laughs> oh no. Let's just let's just let's just put it that way. Um well I think I think it's okay if we have a little bit of a short episode this week. What wait Kinda. we could we still have time for the um, We have time? I was gonna see if we wanted to answer uh that question we had. Oh yeah. The, let's last, do that. the last one. I already was... forgot we had a question. Yes. I, I remembered. <laughs> That's because you're the your, host. As your host, I remembered. I'm I'm backing off. Coming for your job. Cool. <laughs> Take so, it. Good boy Avery. Avery. Uh, Avery. Uh ask, what are the pros slash cons of working on your own production versus being assigned to someone else's? Uh imagine it's a amazing feeling to get your own idea off the ground and be in charge, but supporting someone else's idea can be good and there's less pressure? Question mark. Discuss. <laughs> I think I've never worked on my own content. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this would have been a good question for isa fuck <laughs> well there you go no i mean we'll, we'll just bring it back up again this i mean true. i hmm. maggie to 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 kind of try and, re- and re- relate it in a different way and mm-hmm. let me know if this is like just doesn't work at all but like <laughs> what about something versus like camp camp that you were there like from the beginning and kind of like helped grow versus like maybe like a commercial project that comes in or something like that yeah, I think that's a fair comparison. I mean, um, I love the act of producing, and it doesn't so much matter what I work on. Mm-hmm. And I consider it my responsibility to make sure my team is excited about it, no matter what we're working on. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I try to come in with a clean slate to everything. I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's that's super fair. I mean, like, it's... I, I get that a lot too. Of like, it's sometimes it's more about the team than the actual project itself. Yeah. Um. Because even you know if you're having like bad days or if you're if you're working on something that you're not as thrilled about, at least you're working on it with somebody that is or people that you like mm-hmm. a lot. Um. I have to burp. 
<laughs> that does remind me of a project that we never actually got off the ground um, just due to creative differences. But mm -hmm. the only reason I was able to want to continue to work on that project was because of the writing staff we had internally that was trying to help us get that past the finish line. Sorry, I'm terrible at phrases. Um, but like, you know, I won't go into detail about it. But Carrie, I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. I have um, I have a feeling. <laughs> um, but you know, Booby. it wasn't yeah uh booby was not something i was excited to work on but no i'm just kidding um <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like i still enjoyed working with the outside partners as well like mm -hmm. they were great people and you know i would love to continue to have a relationship with them but it was also the fact that i was working with people internally that we were all on the same page of like oh no we could never do this this way because we do not want to represent ourselves this way right right it's yeah, and and you know, I think we we're we we're fortunate that we were able to have the control to be like, uh, you know, and and you know, it, it worked out the way that it did. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's kind of an interesting balance. Josh, I was gonna ask you like, out of all the people I know, you probably do the most like outside like personal projects, like hobby stuff. Yeah. Um, how like how does that like work for you? Like like do you do you feel like a big difference between? I mean, I'm sure you do. But, like between like the stuff that, you know, you work on for work that you, like, get really invested in versus the stuff that you do on your own? Or, like, do they all kind of end up blending together because you learn a skill like Blender on your own and then apply it to work? Um, I think, that, like, uh, taking skill... I'm trying, I'm trying to, like, write a, an answer in my brain and it's, like, not working correctly. Um, I think, that, like, going from, like, uh, work to, like, personal stuff, I don't know if I can... I mean, I can apply, like, some of the work stuff that, that I do to the personal stuff that I have, uh, but then also vice versa, which kind of helps out. It kind of blends together that way, but as far as, like, um... Like think, Blender? Like, like, like hey. Blender! Hey. hey! Bringing it back. But, um, as far as one of the things that, like, I actually have a lot of trouble with, um, I think the question, like, was almost posed as, like, um feeling more pressure or feeling less pressure because you're not working on your own thing but it's actually the opposite for me where i feel more pressure working on my own stuff but then i don't do it like for example mm. like I've, I've been trying to like write like an album for like the last like however many years and like i have a bunch of stuff here but I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. oh, just drop it. You know, just like, I don't, I like don't do anything with it and it sucks, but like it, I feel more lax doing something for work, especially with all the, the skills that I've accumulated from trying to do my own stuff over the years. And it kind of makes me feel at ease, like, uh, kind of doing all that stuff for actual work, especially because there's like a directive there and it's actually like, Hey, there's a bunch of people working on this one thing, hive mind, let's complete it, yada, yada. But then when I come home, I'm just like, all right, let me sit down and write music or I could play games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I... Very relatable. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's relatable. And then in some ways, I also feel the opposite. Like I, mm -hmm. I've been, I've been fortunate enough to like for the last, uh, good Lord, like eight years, um, I've been working primarily on something that I, or my primary focus has been on something that I helped kind of co-create. Um, and for the longest time, I was like, I was like, that's all I ever want to do. I just want to work on stuff that like I've, I started from the very beginning and take it all the way to the end. And the more I've worked and the more tired I've gotten in some cases, I've just been like, it would be nice to kind of like just come in, you know, like maybe adapt something or like come mm -hmm. in and just direct something or just write something. Um, like, I feel like there is some kind of, there is a weight to taking something from the very beginning to the very end. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's sounding more, it sounds to me, this is a very much a grass is greener or like <laughs> where you're at personally kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, like most things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Aaron, sure, Aaron I what about you? I mean, you do, I feel like, I feel like you do a lot too in terms of like, you know, as you've been, you know, promoted, like mm -hmm. your, your day to day is a little less drawing. Yeah. You know, like on your own, like has that kind of like, uh, how, how has that affected like, yeah, what you do in your off time or like kind of how you, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, moving to art director 
um, it's definitely like rejuvenated my love of like drawing and like creating outside of work. So I definitely mm -hmm. feel more motivated to do like my own personal projects and drawing outside of work. Um, but in terms of like, cause I've also worked on like a ton of other um, projects in the studio besides Ruby, like worked mm -hmm. on Ginlock. Um, I helped a little bit on Camp Camp and Nomad. Um, mm -hmm. RVP, geez, done a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's definitely been times where I'm like, oh man, I'm working on Jinlock right now, but I really want to go back to Ruby or mm. vice versa. But now I think I'm kind of in that moment where I'm like, I'm so comfortable with Ruby and I feel like I know it like the back of my hand or mm. it's just, it kind of like what Josh mentioned, where it's like, I feel more at ease working on Ruby than like other projects or like my own personal projects. Um, but it is nice to get like something different every once in a while. Just uh, either get to know different people on the team that I normally wouldn't work with, or like just uh, work on like a totally different style or whatnot. I kind I kind of like a teeter totter between like my levels of like comfort and like what I'm most happy with. That Wait, see, so you you get like a uh, when things are like frantic or you're like doing something new, you're like, oh, I just want normalcy and it for mm -hmm. it to be the same and like consistency, and then you get that, and then you're like. No, I want to be like this is yeah, the same yeah. all the time. I want to be different. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so it's just like finding that that balance. But mm -hmm. like, I feel like that is like you know, kind of Maggie to what something you were saying earlier too. It's like that's one of the fun things about having a, a like a a good team as well is that like, you know, a you can usually bounce around a little bit more. But then mm -hmm. at at the end of the day, like sometimes it's less about what you're doing on during that day and like more who you're doing it with. Um, I thought kinda... you were gonna say who you're doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Team Booby. <laughs> team Booby. Team Booby. <laughs> okay. Our team. That's our team. The four oh of yeah. Us. Uh, when are the Malachite twins coming back? Can you? Uh, can you? Can you help me with that? And with that. Oh, sounds like it's time to go. <laughs> Another episode. There's no notes. more questions. Aaron, take us out. Oh, this hey. way. Take us out. Hey. Thanks, Carrie. I will take it out now, and there will no. We will not answer any more questions. Uh, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to I Have Notes for next next episode. Uh, do you have any notes? Feel free to tell us. And uh, Carrie, did I forget anything? You you did great. Hell yeah! Good thing uh, good thing Isa pinned this message to Slack. And Wherever you are, Isa. Do we? You. Oh God! Do we know when RTX panel is? Uh, is it, wait, the Malachite twins it's in, the, in the, the panel. What was it? Put the Melishite twins in the no, panel. No, no, nope. no more questions. <laughs> September 24th. 4.30 Central Time. First only. First featuring only. OG crew plus Eddie and Cole. Yes. That's Join a lot us. Of people. Join us or else. Or, <laughs> or we're coming. <laughs> we're coming Ooh. for you. And no questions. RTX at Well, there might be home. some questions. But uh, no questions for Maggie. Yeah. Uh, but also... <laughs> I mean, I'd be down with that. It'd be fun. But okay, anyways. I want to be Militatis. Well, <laughs> nope, nope, we're done. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.